there's a huge opportunity to deliver a better service to the citizen, to the public, in health, in education, in housing, in justice, if we're bolder about the way we do it. The report shows that most public services are under real pressure, pressures I have every sympathy with. The needs are growing and the means, the money, is declining. But in those circumstances, you've only got two choices. You cut and you have a race to the bottom, or you do things differently to do more with less. We've worked with Oxford Economics. They've done a deep dive in particular services. They've looked at where they're done in-house by the public sector, sometimes very well, and where they're done externally by charities or by mutuals or by social enterprises or, yes, by CBI private sector companies. And they found that in the outsourced contracts, there's an average 11% saving. If you say, well, how much of the public sector could be put up to the choice of doing it by the best and most innovative provider who delivers quality and value for a better price? We believe it's reasonable from this research to say 20 billion pounds of savings. Look what that could be used to achieve. Better education, better health, better housing, instead of being used inefficiently with those savings missed. I think the first thing the government needs to do is say we're going to go for every prize, every low hanging fruit on the tree that we can find. Much of this is uncontroversial. We're talking about the back office wiring that enables a teacher or a nurse or a doctor to do their jobs. The public's bothered about the last point, not the back office wiring. Let's, in each area, government, go about this in a more open and innovative way. Why have we opened up the probation service to this way of working, but we haven't done anything in the housing market? There are big gaps that defy logic. Secondly, if you're going to open it up, then the role of the public servant, the civil servant, the local government official, is still hugely important because they determine what the quality threshold is. And I don't want the CBI to be associated with anything that's other than top-notch quality. So we need those public servants and local government officials to be better at commissioning what they buy, what quality they insist on, what standards they police. This is not about shoddy provision, far from it. So the government needs a strategy for making this happen. And then all we're asking for is, let's get on with it, let's be a bit bolder, let's do more over the next year, but only building on what this research shows from the CBI, that it does work, it is proven. Let's try it in other areas and do it as well.